So recently, there's been a little bit of a, I will say, narrative, a little bit of a storyline going crazy around uh, sports TV. Obviously, you have Shannon Sharp on there. He's a staunch reporter of LeBron James. Uh, and this kind of dynamic is common. It just creates nice, fiery conversation between people on podcasts um, where you have somebody who's a staunch reporter of this guy. This guy's not staunch reporter of this guy. Um, so that's just that, like that. That's been the dynamic that we've seen on uh, sports talk rate uh, or TV shows for a minute. Um, and specifically with LeBron is obviously a very common uh, story. So that's always been on uh, Shannon Sharp's plate. He's defending LeBron regardless, goat man, goat man, creating narratives, all that. I think most of the time we kind of write it off as like, well, this is just what sports TV is. Uh, but recently there's been some allegations that uh, it's not genuine support. It's uh, paid for support by LeBron James. So first I wanted to actually ask you guys, one, how do you feel about that? It does feel it does feel it does feel icky to have people in the media on your payroll. But I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily oh, against any kind of rules or anything. Time. What was that? Oh, no, you were talking about that a long time ago. Well, pretty much anything negative about LeBron. <laughs> you, you have been on. You've oh, pioneered. Oh, the the moment it comes out, he's Perfect, like, hey, brother. did you know? But I see Thank you, Ian. With that, um, with that post, I, I forgot who it was, but um, that's where I got it from. That LeBron was paying people and so. Yeah. How do you feel about that? You think that's completely fraudulent? Shouldn't it be allowed? Or I mean, I think it is it's what true. It is. I've always thought. Oh, you just believe it's facts. Yeah. <laughs> I always do. Do you think that's okay? I think it's true. Yeah. yeah, I think it's I think it's a fact. <laughs> yeah, I actually think. I mean, he yeah. can pay whoever he want to pay if they if they want. You don't think money. that that's like, like Wendy? You don't think it's like breaking some kind of um I don't know I mean ethics there because uh, the person's talking for you, so you're creating some kind of incentive that controls theoretically controls their opinion and how they're going to speak about you. Yeah, I'm I'm interested either. Uh, why? I mean, really? No, I don't. What's the angle? Don't I don't real. like it. You don't like it. Don't get me. Don't get me twisted. But. So, what's the angle though? Why? Why? Why would LeBron need to pay people to talk positively about him? Oh, some people keep talk negative. Such as about myself, him. talk negative. About okay, him. but then some people, such as myself, <laughs> don't, and I'm not paid. Worship yeah. him. Like, like I think that he's the best of all time. I think that yeah. yes, yeah. the the obvious things that that you can that you can talk about positively are there. The argument's there. The narrative's there. You don't have to be paid for it. Yeah, but people, like, for example, definitely pre-championship uh, LeBron, like when he lost the first one to the Heat, and this is really when I became a supporter of LeBron, to be honest, seeing how I felt like he was kind of covered Unfairly. Negatively, yeah, unfairly. very unfairly. Uh, but, but decision, he was, he, was, he was coveted until the decision. Yeah. Which, yeah. which, which AI, Allen Iverson, has, has been reported, has been shown that, he like told LeBron like, "Hey, they're gonna love you until they don't, and when they don't, they don't." And yeah. that decision, which raised millions for Boys and Girls Club, which that was kind of like half the point. And then yes, the other part was this ego, physical. I'm the king. I'm making this decision. But again, everybody was waiting on that one I, decision. I honestly, didn't so, like him before that. You well, yeah, well, I believe that. Well, why? Because <laughs> because Sports Illustrated put him on the cover of a magazine as a high school student, and you said, uh, "Fuck this guy, the pompous dickhead." You're, you're like, you know, this kid does not deserve this. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, this king stuff coming out of high. I, I just, I yeah. feel you. Rubbed I you the wrong way. Like, I, I like yeah. Carmelo Anthony better. I thought he was a better player. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, it's, it's okay. Uh, I hate Tebow, so yeah. I feel bad I, about I, that. I, you know, I, I was a Carmelo guy. That's why I'm saying I did not like LeBron until. Like second year with the Heat or so, um, I, I'm a Pacers fan, so I didn't I didn't fuck with them. Um, and I was a Carmelo guy, but I mean, if you just look back on the bodies of work, it's just not even fucking close. Like it's not even a conversation. <laughs> the only thing, the only reason they should be talking about in the same sentence is that they got drafted the same year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you are right. They were actually, friends. Yeah. They're yeah. friends. That's, that's <laughs> true. But when I, I, I man, yeah. just thinking about. When things was going down, I just yeah. had more respect for Carmelo. No, I feel you. I mean, I, me, I personally, I didn't. He forced his way out of uh, Denver, um, fucking folded in New York. Um, yeah, I didn't really have. I mean, but didn't hate Melo. Just yeah. like as, as far as like compared to LeBron, I think those careers are completely different. Uh, I really don't even think he should be compared to Dwayne Wade, really. I think like Dwayne Melo? Wade is, yeah, I think yeah, Dwayne yeah. Wade's on another tier yes. than uh, Melo. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, Melo's talent for sure. And like I said, I was a Melo fan. His offensive game was really interesting. His whole aesthetic around him, too, the cornrows and shit, there was something, that, the headband, there's just something that was exciting yeah. about Melo. I like Melo. Um, but, but, yeah, I mean, not fucking with Bron. All the antics, all the... Yeah, but all the points. 
All, all the antics. Everyone has antics, though. Like, like people hate Patrick Mahomes, right? And the people love Patrick people Mahomes. I don't think that. people are paying anyone to do it. I think uh, in every sport, in every field, the you're going to have the best there, and you're going to have people who respect it and people who don't. I mean, it just is what it is. Again, again, it's it's and it, and there's some bias there. I mean, shit. I was a a Matt. I respected D Rose more than more yeah, than yeah. a lot, but the moment you said best in the league, I was like, whoa, 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 wait a second. And it's like, but in reality, yeah. he was. But but that notion meant that my guy can't be I want right. Well, and yeah, I and, th- go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just, go ahead. I was just the last words were, and I just think that we get defensive when we talk about these things. Like their MJ fans are. It's like, how dare you ever think someone is better than my MJ? But but if someone says Steph, you're like, oh okay, because yeah. you know MJ is better than Steph. Yeah, but sometimes it's just like, so with that, it's just like I said, if somebody were to seriously come to me, and I know you do, so I mean, that's why it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> but seriously, come to me and like Love argue it. a mellow over LeBron. I think like like I said, that has to be based in some kind of like bias that you're coming into that. With. Do that's you watch not, basketball? That's, that's like that's almost not even an opinion. That's really not an opinion. I, I feel like I feel that strongly about that. Most times I'm with you. It's like I, people have their own opinions. You can see I could see how you could see it that way, even if, if I disagree. But yeah, that one may yeah he laughed as far as a career goes. Bro, um, that, that, that that's literally like, got him a job. Bro, that, that that's like being a cowboy fan is saying that Aikman is the best quarterback of all time. It's kind of oh, just yeah, like yeah. it's kind of like yeah. okay, yeah, come on, stop. <laughs> all right, then yeah, let's bro. go. All right, I know I'm, it, yeah. I know you miss those days. Yeah, <laughs> Westbrook, for different reasons than me. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's just like it's just like when people, man, you, there's an argument that Westbrook is the best shooting guard, <laughs> and it's like okay, all right, he's a our best point guard. And it's yeah. like he's a fantastic player and athlete. There is an argument, a really annoying argument. Yeah, here let's, people off. yeah let's just no. Okay. But uh LeBron, as far as like paying, again, I think Wendy, who I think he's someone who capitalized off of LeBron. I, yeah. I, I think that he's somebody who covered him in high school, was one of the uh he's a guy on ESPN. Can I just, I just oh fuck. No, so okay, yeah, because there's I forgot this and I wanted to bring it up because I wanted to piggyback off your point. I think one thing that's oh, interesting right. with this situation is the incentive to like be a pro LeBron guy is already there. You know, he, LeBron doesn't have to pay somebody for it. Exactly. He's already going to get talked about the sport. The sports TV dynamic is already that one person is going to support him and one person is not going to support him. So it's almost like he doesn't, he just doesn't have to pay people. I can see how maybe he would, but it's almost like to, to pay one of the guys that are on one of these shows really makes no sense. Maybe to pay like JJ Reddick, who's going to go on a bunch of different shows and, you know, is going to be like an expert on panels. But it's like Shannon Sharp is going to sit across from a guy every single day and he has to have a different opinion. We don't do that here. We like, like that's why no. sometimes we sit down and we agree a lot. We're like, okay, well, we agreed a lot today. Um, but it's like, uh, you know, that these, these shows, there's a little bit more production in that way is going into it where it's like Skip's already our anti LeBron guy. We want to hear somebody. We, we already know so much. Yeah, we, we want somebody that's going to play off of him. And Stephen A. Smith already fills that void on ESPN that he's the LeBron can't be better than MJ, in my opinion, guy. So we need somebody that's going to sit across from him that's going to be willing to make that right. argument. Um, so you don't even have to pay him to get him to make that argument. Um, I do think it, you know, like I said, it could be more plausible in, in different cases, but this is like the mo- the most useless case I could imagine would be paying one of these Bro, guys. We're and, sk- oh, oh, well, I just want to read what uh, Shannon said. Uh, found this clip here. Joy, this is actually. Oh, uh, actually, I think no, I'm not gonna be able to play it from here because it's. I, don't, I actually don't have it. It's from where Joy Taylor says she basically says like, "Oh, he's paid from LeBron." And oh boy. It, which, I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I say something in jest. Yeah, I think it, it was a joke, but and, people are kind of taking it. But away, but, but it's like it's like like uh, Wendy is from ESPN. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah forget Win, his Win Horse, I think. Yeah, yeah, Win Horse, but they call him uh, Wendy. He's a yeah. heavy, b- bigger guy that covers basketball. Yeah. Fat it, motherfucker on yeah. ESPN. Fucking yeah. sits like this all the time. Come on, you know. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. yeah, no, he. Oh, yeah, uh, Mike, brother. Yeah, 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 he, uh, yeah, yeah, he, from Cle- he's from yeah, Cleveland. He's from Cleveland. He yeah, covered okay. LeBron in high school and then followed his career throughout Cleveland. Yeah. And he basically was like LeBron's trusted source. So that's how he got it, which, yes, that's going to happen. I can see where JJ Reddick obviously has his bias because he's friends with LeBron. They have a podcast but, but again, JJ Reddick, his IQ and his intellect is there. That's obvious. Yeah. And again, even a guy like Skip who has built an empire off of hating on LeBron and being like, like the weekly storyline stop. He does Dallas and, and, and LeBron. No, uh, no, no, no. He loves Dallas. My bad. Yeah. 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 But, but they talk about it. Every yeah. Week, they talk so about it all the time. But right LeBron, right. he is even now having to slip in his little, he'll say it once or twice where it's like, Oh yeah. LeBron is, you know, so great LeBron. Yeah. He actually impressed me here. 
Paul Pierce oh, yeah. had to come out and say, yeah, I think LeBron is X, Y, Z. Why do you think they had to come out and say Because it? there's no denying it when the guy just went 9 for 10 for 3, missed 3 shots all game, and drops 40 points to win the game. Everybody, everybody, everybody get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> A clock right Bro, twice a day. Hey, listen, that man a has. Clock. Hey, listen, when you, you're 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 going to agree with this, okay? Early on in his career, he struggled with jump shots, right? Yes, yes, thank you. I I figured we yeah, agree on that. That's true. Now he's a forty one percent three point shooter. Yeah, I've actually seen that. Today. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That is that's that. Kinda, that's that's kind of like um, Jason Kidd. Yes, he started out struggling from three. Yeah. Yes, and, but um, so so LeBron has said, you know what? I need to I need to pick longevity. I can't always drive and bang up, so I'm going to improve my jump shot and become one of the best jump shooters in the NBA, and then it still be dangerous enough on the drive to be unstoppable. Now you talk about what he's done with the ISO. Now remember, it, Jordan played. You couldn't double team. Now there's double teams, but teams don't blitz LeBron. Teams play off because you know damn well if you take a guy off a guy, LeBron doesn't have to look. He just automatically somehow fucking knows and makes the right pass every single move. time because he knows the script. But he knows he, he makes the right play every time. He is he is the all time points leader. He's the only player to have over like thirty thousand points, over ten thousand uh rebounds, ten thousand assists. He has, uh, 40, he's uh, yes. But but he's on the one with 30, 10, and 10. He has 40, 11, 11. That man is the best all-around basketball player of all time. If you want to say Michael Jordan is the best competitor or winner, say what you it's want. Bill Russell won more. To me. But and I and I accept that. From Dan Marino will always be my all-time quarterback, yeah. but I know it's not true. Yeah, I know Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady yeah. are better. That's but my different. heart says one thing. And we have to say we gotta let go of the eighties and nineties. No, that guy won no championships. You're hey, leave about. it alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we gotta be honest. Uh, here, yeah. so I want to get a couple of these with Kent, just because I think this will actually be pretty funny. I know you're gonna be oh, sliding here and say, "Oh, already? Yeah. Dang. Well, all right. Well, let's just let's just give me this one so I can uh, uh, grocery out before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> you give her a funny story in the car. Eating raw chicken every day till I get a tummy ache. We're gonna try a couple new sauces in this one. First one will be plain ranch. It's a bit windy. Plain ranch. Honestly, I don't. I go search for it, bro. bro. His his algorithm yeah, is something, bro. Sparked out. <laughs> you even five, bro. Every week, yeah, every I, week, I, I, some I, shit. She came early. I don't even know why she's here. Kobe still have five minutes. I don't know. I really think it's good, <laughs> bro. Buffalo ranch. You should have a full date about this one. It's more liquidy. Why? Uh, was it salmonella? That's a real thing. Have you guys ever eaten anything raw? I have to be cooked, bro. Egg. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go. 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 I'm gonna go